Let's be honest about it, if your website's slow, it's pretty much broken and it's not doing the job you intended to do. So you could be losing sales, potential customers, clients, and contacts. To deal with that, we need to generally optimize most WordPress websites. And today we're going to be taking a look at 10 Web Booster, a plugin and a service for WordPress that promises to give us pretty much amazing scores by using AI. Now this means that you don't have to interact with the service and you can actually use this on up to 10 websites for free. However, do bear in mind that this free option only allows you to automatically optimize the homepage and up to five internal pages, but you have to add those manually afterwards. So for bigger sites, you may need to look at the paid plan. However, we're just gonna look at the free version, which gives us that 10 website with five pages and the homepage, and we don't need to put any credit card information in. So you can try before you buy and see what it does for your website. Now, most importantly, make sure you have a backup before you install and test anything like this out that can make sweeping changes to your website. Okay, so let's take a look at how we get started using 10 webs web booster. So this is my performance score for the website over on PageSpeed Insights. This is the mobile version, which is what we're gonna concentrate on because the desktop actually scores relatively well. Let's go ahead and analyze it in real time though, just so you can see that I'm not trying to pull the wool over your eyes with a poor starting point and then a potentially good end result. So let's just go ahead. I'm not gonna pause this or speed this up. This is literally me keeping on talking just so you can see how the optimization side of things is kind of scoring right now. And as you can see, still 39 on that score. Just for argument's sake, let's just hop over to the desktop and see, you can see we're scoring a 94 on desktop. So desktop is already relatively good. So let's hop back over to mobile. Now this is using the Ocean WP theme and Elementor. So a very typical kind of setup that a lot of people will be using. So let's go ahead, jump into the back end now, take a look at the plugin we're gonna be installing and see exactly how all of this works. So if we jump over, this is the plugin 10 Web Booster. Okay, so with that being said, let's go ahead and install this now. Now I've already gone ahead and made a backup of my site just to make sure that if anything goes wrong, we score worse or things just break, then I can just go ahead and restore everything. And as always, anything like this, make sure you do exactly the same, take a backup so you can restore or use it on a staging site so you can test things out. Okay, let's activate this now. Okay, so once you do it, you can see we're gonna have to go ahead and sign up. So let's go ahead, sign up and connect. Let's fill out my details and sign up. Like I say, it says it doesn't need a credit card, so fingers crossed that is the case. Okay, now I've got my details in, let's go ahead and say get started for free. And let's go through this quick, what are you kind of thing. So I'll say I'm a freelancer, one to three, so once we've done that, now you can see this is connected that site up to the account and it's going to now push us back to go ahead and analyze everything. So we're going to let this kind of run through, analyze the current score and then do whatever optimization it wants to do. And we'll test this out and see how good or bad this is. And if we take a look in the top right hand corner, you can see it does say websites one of 10. So you do seem to get 10 potential optimizations or 10 website optimizations with the free version of this. Now this may take a good few minutes, apparently this can take up to about 10 minutes. So I'm not gonna bore you by sitting here doing this. We'll just let this kind of go in the background. I'll let it run, I'll speed things up so you don't have to sit here and watch all of this optimization and listen to me talking absolute crap. Okay, and after probably around about 10 minutes, you can see this is now giving us our perceived optimized scores. If we take a look on the left-hand side, you can see there's our original score, and you can see desktop score of 95. Now the desktop score is of 99. Changing the load time from 2.3 seconds, apparently to 0.6 seconds. We'll check that out in a moment. And you can see mobile score started off at 31 with a 10.9 second load time, and a mobile score of 89 and load time of 2.9 seconds. So let's go ahead and run this now in real time. I'll keep on talking, so you're gonna to have to listen to me waffling on for a little bit while this runs through, but we're gonna let this diagnose any performance issues, do all the things it's got to do, and then come back with the score. And as we can see, this is giving us a performance score of 83, which is a little lower than the promised 86, but like I say, you can cater for fluctuations. If we jump into desktop, 99 as opposed to 100, so it's pretty close to it. And if we take a look at the first content pull paint and the speed index and so on, all sub one second, which is relatively good for any website. So that's already pretty promising. 
Now, if we jump back into the 10 web booster control panel, you can see we have two different sections, the front end and the back end. The front end is what is being optimized as part of the free plan. In this example, it is only the home page. And as you can see, if we want to optimize additional plans, actually additional pages, we can do that by dropping in up to five different page URLs for our site. So you may want to choose the five most important if you have a bigger site, and then you can optimize those and it'll do the same kind of thing. You can reanalyze at any point and test those things out. If you take a look underneath, it gives us information about what you get with the free plan, which only optimizes the front end, doesn't optimize the back end. For that, they kind of want to push you over to the upsell to go into their hosting, which generally I personally wouldn't want to do. I prefer to keep my own hosting side of things. But you can see this just tells us the optimization information. We can go to image optimizer. It tells us how many images left on the overall site are left to be optimized should we want to. Automatic optimization WebP format. So this is very similar to what you see in something like WP Rocket or a kind of CDN setup like Bunny, for example. If you jump into settings, this is where we can kind of configure how aggressive we want the optimization to be. So if you find that when you test your website, which you should do after running any kind of optimization, you find maybe, for example, the JavaScript doesn't load correctly, or you find some kind of weird glitches. This is where you may want to go and test out some of the other sort of optimization modes to maybe be a little less aggressive, so you won't get potentially such good scores, but it may help solve any of those problems. And the whole kind of selling point, I think, for this 10 web booster is to be kind of like a hands off for people that are not necessarily that tech savvy when it comes to understanding how CDNs and website optimization and things like that actually work. But you can see there's four different modes, all with varying degrees of how much optimization they're going to try to apply. We can clear the cache if we want to, if we find we're getting problems, which obviously, if you change the optimization mode, you want to clear the cache to make sure that you're seeing the actual live end results. And custom rules is something that's actually limited to the pro plan where you have to pay. So if we click, we can't actually add anything inside there. If we jump over to the back end option, you can see this is going to give us some optimization information. As you can see, there's diagnostics with these red warnings, which I'll take these with a pinch of salt because, like I say, this is kind of pushing you over to using the 10 web hosting, which, you know, obviously they want to upsell. However, first impressions are very positive about what the 10 web booster actually provides. And if you want to jump over to purchasing this, I think pricing starts about $6 per month per website, something like that. But I'll let you look into the pricing because as, as always, these things can change. There's no affiliate links. There's nothing at all. This was just my interest was piqued by a couple of videos that have been placed up online recently saying how good this was. And I kind of approached it with a healthy dose of skepticism. But I kind of think the results actually speak for themselves. But as always, test this out for yourself. Make sure you back up before you do. And I would love to know your thoughts. Have you used this? Is this something you've got good results, bad results, or basically nothing at all? Would this kind of tempt you away from using something like WP Rocket and maybe Bunny CDN? Or do you find the pricing is better using those tools? Let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to know. As always, all applicable links are in the description. My name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts. And until next time, take care.